bitches, put your hands on your knees. Bad ass bitches, put your hands on your knees. I get a moment with your old tongue. All right. Then can I see the problem? From the interview to the news to your favorite tunes, you can now lose when you tune in to straight out the tongue radio. Uh. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bankhead, Strap Trunk Radio. Actually, it's Bankhead the name now, you feel me? I'm rebranding myself, gotta let y'all really know. It's your boy Bankhead the name, Strap Trunk Radio with another episode. Next to me, we have Texas in the motherfucking house. Mr. Benny, man. You feel me? We have old boy Prince in the oh motherfucking boy. house, you feel me? Originally from, you feel me? Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn from New York, you feel me? But the GS boys, you feel me? If y'all know that All stanky leg, Jackson. you feel me? 2009, that hit single. Yeah. If he's back now with a new motherfucking single that's going viral on Crazy. TikTok, you feel me? Crazy. Bounce when she woke. Yeah, that way. Man. Because his ass everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, everywhere. I've been telling girls these ass like white girls got ass now. Yeah. You feel me? All races. All races. You dig? But hey, welcome. Welcome to Cali. Welcome yeah, back. You feel me? It. I know you've been here a couple multiple times. You yeah. feel me? Not at accelerated radio, stress trunk radio, but you know, LA. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. You know, but uh, how was your weekend? Because this, you just got off stage, BT weekend. You feel me? They did a good tribute for uh, 50 years of hip hop and yeah. they, they went down south. You feel me? They went to Texas. They went to Atlanta. Yeah. And, uh, a lot of things popped this this week. You feel me? BT week was a lot of events, a lot of networking going on, a lot of handshakes, a lot of promises, and a lot of just kisses and all that. You feel me? Can you talk about your experience this past week? Man, it was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? To see uh, Busta Rhymes get his tribute and um, for us to be able to perform with all the greats on stage was amazing. Just to be back at the BT, P, BT Awards for the second time was amazing. So, you know, it's lit. It's a lit situation. I'm still here doing interviews, doing these runs. Blessed to be here with you, being able to do this right now. No, I love, it, I love it. We gonna get, uh, we gonna get, uh, get to know you real quick. You feel me? So, uh, the answers ain't gonna be a uh, longer, but it ain't gonna be a uh, short winded either. You feel For me? Sure. Yeah. For or, sure. Or, 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 uh, get to know me. So, uh, what city are you from? I was born in Brooklyn, raised in Arlington, Texas. All right, give me one fun fact about yourself. One fun fact. Gee, fun fact. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm a lit situation. Lit situation? Okay, yeah. okay. Hey, what do you mean by a lit situation? Like, you know, I'm, I'm going to get it started. You're you going to get that saying? party? You're a party starter? Whatever it is, I'm going to get it started. We're going to figure it out. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's one random fact about you that somebody be like, hmm, I didn't even think that if I looked at you, that that you do that? I don't know. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't know. Let me think. Yeah, I can't you ain't think we ain't gonna hold it up. We ain't gonna hold it up. You, hold it up. you feel me? You feel me? Uh, if we up in Texas right now, what's that food spot you go to? What's that food spot and what's that order that you get and there's somebody need to go and get? I ain't gonna lie. I go to Cousins Barbecue and get they, they got some big ass baked potatoes with everything on it. I go there a lot. You know what I'm saying? You go there a lot? Yeah, I go there a lot. All right, all right, all right. So you say he's born. I get a lot of crab legs in different spots, too. So, I mean, you know. But I go to Cousins a lot and go get them big-ass baked potatoes with chopped beef on there and everything on top. I love it. All right, all right. I'm not a seafood type person, so yeah. it's all good. I, li I like the other, uh, I like the ribs. I like, you know, yeah. the, the brisket. You yeah. feel me? The That's barbecue busted. soup. That's busted. Got to, got to, got to. So, uh, when you... Went from Brooklyn to uh, Texas. Like, what, can you talk about that transition? Was it when you were young in middle school? Uh, after uh, high it was school, like elementary time. But it was it was a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Trying to just. My mom wanted to take faith in God, and she had a job transfer, and it was to move from New York to Texas. Nobody lived out there but us, so she went ahead and jumped on faith, and you know that's big faith. It worked out for the best. Was it uh, just 
over job or just like I just want a new surrounding. Job, new surrounding. Was she uh, born out there as well? She was born in South America, Guyana. Okay. She's from the islands. Okay, okay. Do you have do you you from the you ever go back to the islands? Air blue moon. I ain't been back since I, since thank you that blew up. She don't want nobody kidnap me or nothing, so I ain't go back yet. That oh, that happens. I mean, what? You never you know. You never know. But I'm going to go you. back when the time's right. I'm going to go back yeah. with the right right situation and make it happen. No, I hear that. I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. Mama, mama always know best, to be honest with you. You feel mm -hmm. me? Mama's always know best. Uh, with the success of Stanky Lay in 2009, can you talk about that early success and that, that buzz? Because in 2009 and that era, dancing and yeah. the, the snap and yeah. everything was, was popping, was in. Can you yeah. talk about that early success that you have? And from now, man, um, it was just crazy, bro. Just to be able to be a part of it, see it grow, see it turn into something, be able to be nominated, be able to travel the world, um, be able to come back now and still be able to talk about it and still be relevant now because a lot of people ain't relevant no more, you know what I'm saying? So it's for sure two different eras because back then we were still going from dial up trying to get into high speed now everything's on the phone you don't even need to sit in front of the computer no more you can just get it done on the phone so for sure two different eras very true very true and uh right now your song uh your song bounce with bounce bounce when she walk yeah bounce when she walk yeah. is blowing up on TikTok. yeah got over 3.5 Hold on, I got, I, got that, I got that, you feel me? Yeah. Got over 3.4 million uh -huh. TikTok sounds, got 15 over a million streams. Yeah. Your shit going up. Yeah. Do you feel like TikTok has like rejuvenated your career or, or brought back uh, the flame, the fire under for your career yeah. because of the dancing and things like that? For sure. The dance and the TikTok? For sure. Just like, I look at TikTok being like, um, like TikTok is like, to me, like the radio. You know what I'm saying? Like, while you swiping, you're hearing something. It don't matter if somebody talking on there. It don't matter if somebody singing. It don't matter if it's comedy. It's like a radio. And as long as you keep hearing it, you're in rotation. Hey, no, I never even thought about that. And that's sure. so true because when you do, you hear some scenes, like, oh, I'm going to tune into that real quick. Let me go on that person's page and see what else they're talking about. Facts. You feel me? So I fucks with that. Uh, how long in 2009 and your first, I don't know if it's your first solo single in uh, 2016, uh, get to, uh, no, no. 2016 is about uh, bring it down, uh, pick it up. Yeah, that's featuring unknown and uh, take off. But what it was, the first, the first single when the group broke up that I went solo on was Hands on Your Knees, the one you played earlier. Okay, that was the first one. That was in 2011. Uh, 2011. Yeah. Can you talk about like that experience of you being in that group, uh -huh. having that success, then stepping out on your own and doing a solo career? Like, was there any rift between the group and like, nigga, you leaving us? Uh, and like. Can you talk about like that step? Cause that, like your mom, you jumping on on faith. Yeah, nah, you feel facts. Me? And, and what's crazy is, I had a scholarship to go run track, and um, I told my mom I wanted to be a rapper. And she was like, "Boy, you better go run track." And I was just like, "Man, I don't want to be a rapper, mama." She was just like, "Well, shit, you gonna be a rapper? You gonna you ain't gonna go to college? You better go get three, four jobs. I don't want to see you in here. You better make that shit happen." And thank you, that was the first one I made happen. Then when the group broke up and I went solo. First record I made um, was Hands on Your Knees, featuring Southside. He's one of the group members as well. And um, the transition was, I ain't gonna lie, it was something I had to get used to, but I wanted it so bad, so I decided to learn how to get back used to it. Cause it was more like, Gia's Boys, all this. And then now it's like, okay, well shit, y'all ain't the Gia's Boys no more, shit broke up. I mean, $50 to get in here, $20 to get in, and you gotta pay for valet, and you gotta pay for this now. And I was like, fuck it. That that's a big lifestyle change in a way. Yeah. That's a big like, oh shit, I I'm not that right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, fuck it. If this was gonna take for me to get back through, I'm I'm gonna do it. And that's what I did and now it's back to the same shit again. Hey that's Prince, let him in. Hey, move that cone, let him pop right there. I'm back to that. I love that. I love I love to see that I love to see that bounce back. You feel me? You feel me? And then uh, a lot of people can't have that testimony of that. Man. You feel me? Especially from coming from that era of two, our early 2000s and coming from now, you know? Yeah. Because uh, a lot of niggas, we don't hear them no yeah. more. You feel me? They're not relevant. Or they only, they not, uh, Steve Bell said, always be, uh, don't be a dinosaur in this game. You feel me? Yeah. Always uh, reinvent yourself. You feel me? Especially with the t today's time, because like you said, dial up in 2009 type shit. Now it's everything on your phone. Like if you're not 
tech savvy, you you lose you over. you over. You feel it's me? Over. You don't know how to use an app. You it's don't over. you don't know how to you hit the Google it's on your over. phone. It's over. You don't have to send an email. It's, it's over. over. <laughs> you feel? It's, good. it's over. So it's like you have to learn that those those times. You know. And can you talk about like the transition and was it hard for you to go from CDs to just DSP? Um, I'm like, y'all, I'm selling a CD because you from the south, from the south, you feel me? That's what, that's what you straight out the truck type shit, you feel me? Crazy. I never went through that really, like just selling CDs. I went through printing them up and going to South by Southwest and passing them out, but I never got to the point in my career having to sell any CDs. But I uh, met an artist out of San Antonio named Slim Easy, shout out Slim Easy, and um, he put me on a tune call. Mm -hmm. And tune call changed my life. That's when I uploaded my first record, Hands on Your Knees. I did crazy on the internet, and then I just kept been going crazy since there. Hey, shout out to him, Corp, because, hey, everybody got that down. Yeah, you feel me? You feel me? All right. So, your influence. And what's crazy is, I cut you off. I didn't know that we didn't need a label no more to distribute your music. So, he was the first one to put me on that, because at first, I was just like, shit. We just making, we just randomly going to the studio, recording songs, and just having them. This and then going and give it to DJs and putting on DJ sites, but not knowing that you don't need a label no more to put it on a distrib distribution website or put it up on a uh, Apple or none of that. So, so you, you found out you was independent. You man, when Slim Easy put me on that, you know, I've been up ever since. Yeah. To the point now that before Bounce When She Walk and these other big records that I knew that as long as I keep producing music and putting it out there, that'll be able to pay my bills. And that's what it's doing to, right now today. That shit, life changing. Facts. Life changing. I fucks with that. I love it. I love it. Because uh, people don't, people, <laughs> I don't even want to get into that. But I, ain't yeah. gonna, I ain't gonna get into I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get into But all right, hold on. Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Uh, influences, Diddy, 50 Cent, Jay-Z. Oh, you on it. Soldier Boy. Yeah. And when I see Soldier Boy, I'm like, okay, the South, in a way, you feel me? Like, so, so where Soldier Boy influence came from was more like the internet side. Cause everybody else that I named yep. on that list was not really in it. No, no. Was I was about to, I was about to get into that because okay. Soulja Boy was the first person on YouTube mm -hmm. to have fan engagement, mm -hmm. fan reach, like mm -hmm. kiss me through the phone. First mm -hmm. person with an app, mm -hmm. you know, song on the app type shit like that on the mm -hmm. phone. Ringtone, so selling crazy. You, you feel me? All that. So can you talk about his entrepreneurship and how he influenced you versus a, a Fifty Cent uh, entrepreneurship where he came from the streets and now he's built a. Uh, he's a mogul from music to entertainment on TV now. Right. So on Soldier Boy's part it was more like me seeing what he did and made me realize that I could do that too. So if you look at his YouTube videos, he used to dance in the living room. That'd be one video. Then he'll go outside and hit his dance. That's another video. He'll go to the mall and hit his dance. That's another video. Then if you look at the original Stanky Leg video, you see me Stanky Leg in all them different spots in one video. So I didn't, I, we went to the mall, we went there, we went there, we went there, we went there, and just put it all in one video, and we put it out, and then it went viral. And then we just used that. I, I threw pieces of his formula into my formula and made that shit work. And I just seen how he was so aggressive on the internet, on promoting himself, and I was like, yeah, I need to start doing that. That's before all the other apps came out. It was just YouTube, MySpace. So who would you say your, your soul? Planet. With, tic, with TikTok, who would you say your soldier boy was? was? Um, bro, Limelock, Bear Share. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you started. <laughs> I'll get you going. Hey, they don't know. Some of these young motherfuckers ain't like, know. They be, huh? Fast. What is that? Yeah, you feel me? Y'all don't know what we had to go through to get some music. You feel me? For real. For real. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You feel <laughs> Yeah, memories. I know it. Hella memories, man. Hella memories. I forgot what I was about to say. This motherfucker. <laughs> He's having a good time. You did? For real. Damn. I had a good question, too. But, oh, no. I'm going to get into this. Uh, from Texas, mm -hmm. uh, in the South, like the South seems is the South like what's the South's temperature right now? Because a lot of things is going down, like it happened in Texas, mm -hmm. Atlanta, mm -hmm. Miami, mm -hmm. even New Orleans, mm -hmm. and you feel me from gun situation, Young Thug mm -hmm. uh, in Texas uh, last October, take off, rest in peace, getting mm -hmm. uh, killed. Like, can you talk about like the the temperature in the South right now? Is people still trusting each other? Are they still having each other's back, or is it people just like I'm I'm doing my own thing for right now? I feel like it's it's the same everywhere though. You know what I'm saying? Like every blue moon, a rapper pass somewhere. Every blue moon, you hear somebody get killed, shot, something bad happen. You know, 
it's just gonna, I, I hate to say it's gonna forever keep happening. Crazy shit's gonna ever forever happen and positive shit's gonna ever keep happening. So it's like, the t I feel like the temperature is the same everywhere. Since I've been here, people been telling me, hey, you going to this spot, be careful. You going to this side, be careful. It's like, you gotta be careful wherever we go. Even when you're at home, you gotta be careful. Scale of you know one to ten, how important is a check in? Not a check in like, uh, check in like, hey, I gotta give you some money to protect me, but a yeah. check in like, Checking the temperature of the city you in right now, like where to go and where not right. to go. Um, How important is that? It's 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 important to know where you at and what area you you in. It is important for that. But if you ain't gonna be out here just looking all flashy and looking like a lick, then I I feel like you'll be all right. If you're looking like a regular pedestrian, not in all red or all blue and all certain colors and flossed out, looking crazy. Cause you know they, I'm talking about. I walk to the store and I think I passed. I don't know how many homeless people and random people walking by asking for money and different other shit. And then you had other people that was walking by that had their self together, but they wasn't like flashy with it. So before I left, my partner was like, "Prince, you you iced out right now? How you walking?" I was just like, "Shit, I'm yeah, I'm on that." He was like, "Hey, you know you by yourself out there on that on that side. You need to." Dress down a little bit, and I'm like, yeah, nigga, you right. And as soon as I went outside, I hit a corner with a strip of just tents. And I ain't never really just seen just a strip of just tents of homeless people. And I was just like, my partner just gave me, you know, some good information for I would have hit no, this it, corner. They would have they they had a handout. They would have looked at you. It would have been a royal room. They, they would have they, they 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 sculpted you. Somebody would have sculpted you, I for know, sure, for I sure. Know. I know. Nigga, you would've had a Royal Rumble. Nigga, 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 I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, nigga, at the liquor store. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, nah, yeah. I mean, so, so shout out to partner who gave you yeah. that advice. Cause Rock the game, what it do? You feel me? Real shit, because it's, it's, it's ruthless out here. You feel right. me? And yeah. now, like, we, we like Gotham City, to be honest, because we just had to pass a law, uh, a bill out here where aggravated assault, battery, and shit like that, you don't even get arrested no more. You feel me? Like, if you, you can smash and grab, and you're not even getting a, a ticket arrested no more. If you do get arrested, you're getting, you're getting put out right out. Wow, that shit sound crazy. That sound like we about defund to start the, purging in the Defund the police type shit. They used to, and, no, and no sheriff or nobody in that department uh, went against that bill. Nobody, they all signed it, like, with happiness. So if somebody break this door right here and run up in here, they ain't going to... We got to defend ourselves. We got to just shut this bitch down. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's about I locked the door, so we good in this motherfucker, you feel me? Look, yeah, and, I got my, and I got my backpack. We good, you good? Yeah, he got the backpack. We good, we good, good, we good. I'm just saying, you feel me? So let's talk about uh, the, these singles, man, because yeah. I was looking at your discography on Spotify, and I was like, man, I want to feel a full project of some yeah. turn up -ness, you feel me? Because yeah. all your shit, I was in my car, like, I need some ass cheeks right now, you feel me? I need yeah. some booty cheeks to look at, you feel me? So can you talk about, like, the singles? Like, is it only single-driven, or are you... Want to get signed for a single single deal, or are you so, looking for an EP? I feel like nowadays I don't want to go make a. I'll make songs back to back, back to back, back to back. But I feel like for me to drive the traffic that I need for everybody to listen to a full EP, I need to have one of those big ass records. So like right now with Bounce When She Walk Moving, the EP is gonna come because once I put that on the EP. It's gonna drive traffic to the EP, and then people will be able to listen to the whole EP. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people pull out a song and it does cool numbers, but you throw that with a whole probably 12 songs that's heat, and you ain't been able to promote the other 12 songs. So I'd rather drop all 12 songs individually, one by one, and give them that chance that I gave the other one, and you never know which one's gonna go. I right, bounce when she woke. When I when I heard bounce when she woke. I knew you was looking at an ass that wasn't BBL. Nah, it wasn't. I know, because I, I know, because I know BBL booties don't bounce. Some do, some do, some. Fine, some. let me send them my way. I yeah, need to. Texas. <laughs> Texas, yeah, Texas, Texas got the bouncy BBL. Sorry, <laughs> we got the stick brick booty bells up here on the same shit. Right. You feel me? What's the, well, like where that inspiration come from? Was you just sitting at home one day and a big booty just Dude, bounce came in? My girl. Oh, no disrespect. Nah, for sure. Oh. <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, it was my girl. She was in the crib. Cleaning up, and I looked over, and it was just bouncing when she walked. And I was like, while the beat was playing, I was like, damn, bouncing when she, okay. And I looked back again, and I was like, clap when she walked, ooh, okay. And I think she bent over, and I looked over again, I was like, okay, ass everywhere, and then go to hook. Easy. 
Mm. It's so dope when I was on the, the TikTok and seeing the sounds. Mm. All types of women was doing this. Everybody. Dance. From big girls, the white animals, girls, animals, everything. Asians. You see everything. The, the sound was going viral. Yeah. It was everywhere. Yeah, still going. College, college, you feel me? I was like, I love the white girls in college doing that shit. You feel me? I know they turn up. Nah, all of them. <laughs> all of them. Are you feel Shout me? Shout out to all of them. We need more videos too. Keep, 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 keep sending them and tagging me and all that. You feel me? What's coming up uh, next? We we in summertime. You feel me? Are we are we promoting this for, until the end of summer? Or are we coming up with another single? Um, I'm hoping for for the big remix to come here real soon. Do you have like a, a name or some money? I've been begging for like a Cardi and a Nicki together. I don't know how I could pull it off, but I'm just asking for it. If if it can happen, it can happen. T you said Cardi and Nicki. And Nicki both of us. I'm trying to get the motorsport effect. <sighs> Yeah. And have them in the same video yeah. in the same scene. You yeah, feel me? Oh, I just stay on the hook. Y'all could do the both verses. We could go, y'all borrow this borrow, come back to Texas, shoot my part, and we can call it a day. I see what he's doing. I'm like, why Nikki and Cardi, New York, Brooklyn, Texas? Put it all together. Put it all together. Or you could hit that lotto on Maggie Stanley. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? Hey, hey, I'm sure. Hey, whoever want to see it, you feel me? <laughs> whoever want to do that and bounce my ass. I'm saying, I just fight whoever. Hey. Come on. Hey, win. now. Come everybody on, win. Win. Everybody win right now. You feel me? Facts. Everybody's winning. All right, I got a, a couple uh, quick Q&As with you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you a... Uh, Two uh, two options. You just give me hit me with an answer. You feel me? Man. All right, here we go. Water burger or In and Out? Ooh, water burger. All right, all right, all right. Just because I like that honey butter biscuits. Oh, I never had that. I'm gonna try that next time. I'm gonna try that. Uh, Sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce or Louisiana hot sauce? Ooh, I can't pick one because I really ain't big on the hot sauces. For real? Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Lights on, lights off. Ooh, it depends. It oh. depends who the lights on, the lights off on. Okay, I, I, was, I, I need the lights on so I can see real quick. Then mm -hmm. after like the first round or so, lights off. You feel me? You feel mm -hmm. me? All right, home cooked meal or a five star restaurant? Whoo, home cooked. Home cooked? Yeah. All right, owning owning land or owning a building? Ooh, owning land because I can put the building on the land. <laughs> see, I, smart, smart man, smart man. I asked another artist. I asked him, would you rather have five hundred thousand in cash mm -hmm. or would you rather have a hundred thousand in business credit? Mm -hmm. And what do you say? Business credit. You said how much thousand in cash? Five hundred, five hundred thousand in cash, uh -huh. or a hundred thousand in business credit. Oh, I think I take the five hundred. For real? I think. Well, well, why, why, why? Because that business credit, you can, you that's not your money, uh -huh. and you can still use it and uh -huh. build it and make your money back. Uh -huh. Five hundred. You spend it, it's gone. But you can still invest it, but it's, but uh -huh. but but it is your money. The credit is not your money. You can always get loans. You can always build your credit from that. Because if you show you got 500000 in your account, just imagine what a bank will give you. Hey, that's true, that's true. Hey, see? Come on, man. See, I like your business mind, too. You feel me? Hey! <laughs> hey! He tricked me, shit! Hey! Come on, man. <laughs> Is, it, is that uh, something you, uh, you're you into, uh, entrepreneurship as like ownership of buildings, of businesses and things like that? Yeah, man. Like what, is, what are you working on? C4S, that's my label, that's my brand. You go to c4smerch.com and get some merch right now. Um, I got artists that's under me. Um, I got influencers that's all under me. Um, shit, we going crazy. Like the Bounce Machine Walk record came from Unique Music and KC making up the dance and it went viral on TikTok. And they under me, you know what I'm saying? And I have a label, and we going crazy right now. I got y'all. Just stay tuned. The ones that's already know, y'all know. The ones that don't know, y'all gonna get put on C4S, the whole camp. We going stupid right now. KP, baby, Destiny, Unique, GG, um, my producer, Thriller, Guala Gang. That's on Bounce when she walk with me. Um, we just been going crazy, bro. Like I really, the plan is to like the people you name. Outside of Soldier Boy, everybody else, that's the lane I want to go. I want to have the big label. I want to have liquor. I want to have a movie. I want, you know, I want all that. I want my clothes to be in, in the big miles and all that. Like, I want all that. That's why I said, when I first sat there and seen Soldier Boy do that from high school, I said, I'm doing it. And then we came with Stanky Lit. And when I sat there and seen different niggas had their own clothes on and kept going, I was like, man, we're going to do my own shit. And then there we go. And then right now I seen what got me on TikTok, I seen K Kemp, the lottery song 
went viral on there, and I said, damn, if it worked for him on TikTok, let me just try TikTok out. I remember he had the Renegade when he had that. Record. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. The Renegade record. When, when he, that worked, I said, let me just try it out. I tried it out and that shit got me up. That hit. It hit. It ain't, it ain't wrong. What would you tell yourself, your younger self, your 2009 self mm -hmm. from right now? Who, like, you right now, what would you tell your 2009 self? Keep going. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? Sure, I'm going to tell myself right now. Keep going. It's a lot of... I, my neighbor told me this one day. And it was about his brother, and he said, when his brother looked at him and said, I'm tired, bro. Um, I, don't, I don't feel like doing this shit no more. I'm, I'm done. He passed away, like, a little while after that. He said he was tired. And that, from that moment, it stuck with me, because I, I, I always tell some of my partners that was rappers and had a buzz, and they don't have none now, and they was just like, shit, I'm tired, bro. I don't want to do this shit no more. Just put that same effect. Like, it don't matter if it's life. It don't matter if it's a goal. Once you sit there and say, that shit's done. It's over with. It's dead at that moment. And I, you're going to tell myself the same shit. I ain't going to keep going. You're going to run into obstacles. You're going to run into bullshit. You're going to run into dead ends. Keep going, nigga. Yeah, I fucks with that. I fucks with that. Oh, no, I really fucks with that because uh, sometimes... If you be doing this shit, you're not getting paid, you have to tell yourself to keep going because that one time you say, I'm done, I quit. That shit will eat you alive, that shit will build up. That will build in your motherfucking soul and your spirit and you'll start believing that in your head and fucking chemical imbalance will start, no, I ain't going to that, I ain't doing this. Or you start looking at people wrong and shit, you, you have the negative negative Man. thoughts. You So that keep going is like, nigga, you doing something, just keep going that you're on the right path, you feel me? In the last two months, bro, I've been having deja vu moments, mm -hmm. you feel me? Mm -hmm. And I asked the homie, I'm like, man, I'm having deja vu moments. He's like, bro, if you're having deja vu, uh, deja vu moments, mm -hmm. you're on the right path. Right. Because I'm walking into rooms, I'm like, nigga, I was here yeah, before. way yeah. before, like, just like, and it hits me, you get goosebumps, like, yeah. nigga. Facts. I, I, didn't, I didn't know nobody here, but yeah. I, I, I seen like, it. Yeah, yeah and it's so, it's so crazy, bro. Not it's so sure. crazy, and it's just like, we on the right path. You feel me? And I know you on the right path. You on Strap Talk Radio. You feel me? I'm just saying. I'm here. Yes, sir. You was on the BT stage. Now you here. Hey. Right. So if I would have stopped in. Exactly. You feel me? You might be working at UPS or Whataburger type shit. You feel me? That shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Uh, what's a, uh, some inspirational or quote you live by? Man, have faith. Got this tatted on my wrist. Have faith. And stay focused. And keep going. Like, them three is, like, the most important things. Like, man, hey, to all you artists and people out there that be going through shit, I'm going to tell you something. When I've been out, like, in dark spots, you know, you got your people out there that be scamming. They got their bullshit they go on, and, and you might be wanting to get into it and, you know, go down that path, and, you know, suits is on, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, though, every time that normally hit my line and I think about it, I remember just to keep going, stay focused, and a blessing normally hits me, right? When I'm about to just jump into some bullshit, a blessing normally knocks in my door, and I get right back on the right path, and everything goes right. So, with that being said, stay focused, have faith. Everybody goes through dog times. My sister say this to me all the time, nigga, you want to be mad in the Bentley? I mean, or in a Rolls Royce, or you want to be mad in a Honda? I said, nigga, I'd rather be mad in the Bentley. Facts. Facts. Think That's about cool. it, there's mad people in Bentleys and there's mad people in Honda. There's mad people Fuck in Fuck that, I'll be madder in a fucking Bentley. No, no, I'll be madder in a fucking Honda because that's. <laughs> I'll be pissed if I was in a Honda. I'm just, I am in a Honda right now, but I'm saying. But to the point, yeah. I get what you're saying. You feel sure. me? Like, I could be mad, but <laughs> I'm still in Rolls Royce in the way, you feel me? But like, shit, I'm mad and I'm in a Honda. Ooh! <laughs> Right. So I'm saying, with that being said, everybody goes through the same shit. You feel me? Believe it. Everybody got relationship problems. Everybody got bill problems. Everybody got all types of problems. Car issues, whatever the fuck going on. I don't think you ain't the only person that's going through it. Just remember to stay focused and you're going to get through it because everybody gets through it. Focus on that. Facts. I tell people who be tripping about bills, I'm like, you going to be tripping about this every month? This shit coming back? And again, next month, 30 more days. You feel me? You got one bill, that shit gonna come back. Why you not And not knocking nobody that got their hustles. Keep your hustles, because if that's what's helping you get where you're going, as long as you get in there. You yeah. feel me? If that's gonna help you get where you're going, get there. And once you get there, figure out what's next. You feel me? If it ain't working right now, 
keep going because it's gonna work eventually. Facts. You feel me? One one yes is gonna kill a hundred no's. Facts. One yes is gonna knock down a hundred no's. Facts. You feel me? So keep nah, going. One yes for real. <laughs> What's crazy is the BET Wars. We got that phone call. I want to say Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday. Are we good? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I know if we said low memory or anything. Uh, no, we good. We good. Bet, bet, bet. Cut that back in. Bet. Nah, bet. We good. Nah, yeah, we just had to uh, uh, re reload it. We, we back. We back. You feel me? Strut Trunk Radio in the house. You feel me? Bankhead name. We got Texas in the house. Old boy Prince. Ooh. Make sure you go stream that new single right Bounce now. You feel walk. me? Bounce when she walk yeah. over. <laughs> 3.4 million TikTok yeah. streams, you feel me? 15 million streams on TikTok going viral all over the DSPs. Make sure y'all go stream that, you feel me? It's your boy Bank had the name. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, Prince in the motherfucking house. Yeah. Hey, just got off the BET stage. We were just talking about the BET Awards. Right. I love the BET. Did you like the BET Awards? Did you feel like... Uh, I feel like this is the best one. For real? People on TikTok saying, people on social media saying, it's like, ah... It was a little raunchy, a little ratchet, you feel me? I think it's because they just gave Tyler Perry the keys mm -hmm. and he wasn't able to really give the Tyler Perry mm -hmm. effect. So mm -hmm. I, I wait till next year when he gets that. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's going to be a fucking amazing. It was amazing. I, I liked it. Was it. Amazing I liked it. yesterday, though. I'm not even lying to you. Just think about everybody that came through and performed. Facts. And then if you was in there, it was for sure crazy. Like, I mean, crazy. Like, the energy in there was crazy. Like, to the point that. I don't know, some of y'all probably seen the little sexy red uh, video that's going viral on the internet with her rapping her part on the side of the... Uh, By Bobby Jones! Know, and then you had Boosie, <laughs> he came back, he was on his side when they played Wipe Me Down. Like, this is the behind the scenes shit that was going on that y'all didn't get a chance to see that went crazy. Like, they was just lit. It was just a vibe, bro. There was a lot of people in there. The energy was high. You had uh, Chief Keith that came out. And uh, did um yeah they 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 uh, lifted his ten year ban from you feel me so that that was amazing that was amazing uh Texas not Texas but South music mm -hmm. been on top for mm -hmm. the last twenty plus years in hip hop mm -hmm. and hip hop is only fifty years old mm -hmm. and I, we could or we could say the South had hip hop on lock for half of hip hop mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. can you talk about what's next with like the South music mm -hmm. and like with hip hop, because y'all going for another 25? Mm -hmm. I, think, I, think, I think it's gonna never, music gonna keep evolving and it's never gonna end. You know what I'm saying? It's never gonna end. We all in our cars, we all listening to something. Our ears is always tuned into something, so it's just gonna keep getting better, bro. With this social, social media and this internet, I don't know what's next, but the thing is, if you wanna stay in what's next, you better get ready for it. No, that's so fact. Everybody, think about it, bro. Like, people was like, no to the skinny jeans, yep. no to tight clothes, no to the internet on certain things. Like, I ain't getting on TikTok. I'm just staying on Facebook. I ain't getting on Facebook. I'm just staying on Instagram. I ain't getting on Instagram, none of the other shit. I'm staying on Twitter. Nowadays, yeah, if, you, if you really want to be one of them, you got to be on all of them. You gotta be on Instagram, you gotta be on TikTok, you gotta be on YouTube, you gotta be on Facebook, you gotta be able to post on all, cause that's all different audiences. So it's like, if you really wanna be in this game and you really wanna keep evolving, it, you gonna for sure gotta be tuned in to everything that's going on and be able to grow with it. So 50 years me in, I'm ready to see the next 50. I pray I can, you know, be allowed to see that next 50. Bro, that's a That'd blessing. Be hard. That will be a blessing. Who would you say your, your top five South artist is versus your top five New York artists. I can't do it. I can't even lie to you. I can't, cause mine, mine is not really just about just the music. I just, I like to look and see what, what people done to make other people become millionaires. Okay. Change other people lives. Right, you know you don't, don't get me top five. Just give, give me some names. Just give me some names out there that's on your top of your head. Um. They don't have to, it could be from the South, it could be from the uh, East Coast, West well, Coast. You, you named a couple of them. You named Jay Z, Jay -Z. And the Rock, Rockefeller, and then now you got Rock Nation. You got Baby with the cash money and Wayne with the young money. You got um, Dr. Dre that came with him and did the Shady Aftermath. You got um, T.I. with Grand Hustle. You had Yo Gotti with CMG. You got 
man, the list goes on to all the people that just came in and, and, and changed other people's lives and still being relevant to this day and doing big shit. And that's, that's the lane I want to be in. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So, say we did a cypher. Yeah. Would you would you be spinning some bars like a, a Brooklyn nigga? Or would you be rapping like you from, from Texas? I couldn't even tell you. I don't know what I do. You don't know? I, I have songs that I'm doing R&B. I'm having songs that I'm trying to sound like a reggae artist. Like, I just go with how I feel. So I might, you never know what you'll get from me on a certain type of beat or what I feel that day. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. Like, you never know. Because, like, a lot of people hear my shit and they be like, oh, you make dance music. But if you listen to, like, for instance, Megan Thee Stallion, Savage, that don't, if you listen to the words, it don't sound like you, it's a dance to it. If you listen to Bounce When She Walk, it don't sound like a dance to it. But with us using TikTok and they putting a dance to it, people say, oh, that's a little dance song, not a twerk song for the bitches to shake their ass. It's like, oh, that's a little kitty-friendly song, a dance song, a stanky leg. You listen to stanky leg, like, oh, that's the only shit he makes, those type of songs. But if you really listen to the artists and like what you did, you went through and you listened to a couple of the records and you'll be able to hear it. So my thing now is I'm going to for sure try to break that cycle to fuck people head up. I'm going to go ahead and put out a different type of record and still use my same method and let it be a different sound. Like right now I'm pushing one, one of my artists named KC outside of Bounce Where She Walk called um, What You Want to Do. That's an R&B and I'm working on that one. And then me and Guala got a song called like A that's going crazy on TikTok. So man, we got shit on the way, bro. Like. I'm just going to fuck the game up. Like I said, TikTok is like the new radio. So if I'm putting some R&B shit on there over and over and over and over, you hearing it, it's just like, what the fuck is that? I like that song. Let me hear it. And you hear the whole song, you ain't going to think of a dance. You're just going to say, I love this motherfucker. Facts, facts, facts. Are you signing, you say you signing uh, influencers as well? Yeah. I have influencers that's under me. Like TikTok influencers? Yeah. Or like, that's big. That's That's new too. Cause that nobody was signing. Come on, nobody man. signing Listen, that. Bro, Somebody's on. like, oh, I'm C4S you is, an agent. It's, it's different. <laughs> like I'm scouting artists. I'm doing different shit that people never seen before. You know what I'm saying? Like shout out um, King Dance from uh, Louisiana. He has a song called Tiki Tock. He it was moving on TikTok. Jumped on it with him. And shit went up even more. Uh, shout out Lil Earl. He had that from the back. From the back. From the back. I found him on uh, TikTok. His first song was she until she gonna twerk. Jumped on it with him. That shit just went up viral even more. Um, like, I like that shit, bro. Like, I feel like just watching other great artists link with other artists and they work with each other and see that shit go up. Like, I, I know that's what keeps you relevant. You know what I'm saying? What? That shit for sure keeps you relevant. Who's, as well as showing love. Like, I'm the OG to him now. I love that. I love that. Who do you say, like, what type of artists you don't work with? Like, I work with everybody. As long as you got a vibe and we can vibe with each other and figure it out, I'm going to work with you. Because I, I just like that shit, bro. Like, music is is different. You ever just hear a beat without words and be like, damn, this beat just sounds yep. good. Yeah, I can just play this. That's it. Or sometimes you hear something like, uh, what's the fuck up? Burner Boy. We don't know if he cussing the bitch out, saying some other shit. We don't know what the hell he's saying, but we singing the hell out that motherfucker. Or some bad buddy type shit. You feel me? No, I get it. As long as it sounds good, we rocking out. I'll do a song with him. Straight up. I can see that. For real. Hey, that's bringing two different type of coaches together. For real. But they all they all doing some hip swing, you know. That's it. You feel me? Hey, we have old boy Prince in the motherfucking house. You feel yes, me? Straight sir. from Texas, straight off the BET Awards stage. You dig? Here, straight at the Truck Radio. It's your boy Bankhead, the name. I have to say, appreciate you for pulling up, my man. Yeah. Can you tell everybody where they follow you at, where they get your music, where they can go stream your music, where they can go on your YouTube, where they can they go find your merchandise and all that? Old boy Prince on everything. O H B O Y P R I N C E. You know what I'm saying? Um, C4S merch. You go get the merch. You feel me? We got new shit that's about to be on there. We got summer wear on there. Right now, it's cold out here, so I had to throw the hood on, hoodie on. You know what I'm saying? Come outside. What is it, like 64 outside? Yeah, yeah, but don't worry. We bipolar out here in Cali. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be like 90. Nice. Watch. You feel yeah. me? <laughs> you gonna be are, we, are we in an area where we got earthquakes over here? Or we good? You in that, like, earthquake city. For real? Yeah. I ain't never felt one. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to feel one. Nothing. But it's... Yeah, yeah. Is it heavy or is, like you ever been to one? You just don't know. You, you been know. to one before? Multiple. For real? Multiple. You just don't know. You just don't know. What it feel like? You shaking. 
<laughs> <laughs> Everything's shaking. Just imagine right. everything is shaking. It's, it's just shaking, and you. You can stand and just you, you, you don't know you sometimes you just you shock. He's like, oh shit, it's happening. You you feel it. You know right. it. You feel it. You feel right. it coming. Yeah. Sometimes it's really happening when you asleep. That's when it really happens. Like if you run outside, say you outside, you're not really gonna feel it unless right. it's a big one. But if it's like a little small one, you outside, you're not gonna feel it. But if you're in the house, you're gonna feel something. You might feel your bed rock a little. You feel me? If you're walking down the stairs, you gonna you gonna tremble a little. You feel me? All, How long the last for? Like I said, they all different, bro. They all different. You ever seen that movie San Andreas with yes, The Rock? Yeah. Nothing like that. You feel me? But <laughs> nothing like that. Nothing like right. that. But it it could happen. It could happen. That that is a prediction that could happen out here. You feel me? That San Andreas movie, yeah. No, yeah, with The Rock, that is a prediction that could happen out here in California. That type of earthquake and damage it's possible it happened. Our last biggest earthquake we had was, I think, the Northridge. And that was like a 9.4, 9.5. That that tore down buildings. Yeah, that that did damage, destruction. But you good though. That Welcome shit sound get... crazy as hell. Y'all got tornadoes though, don't y'all? We lit with them though. Oh, we can go too, underground man. and be all right. That's true. That's true. <laughs> we can go under a table and be all right. Nah, <laughs> just said, the, the grounds is it's it's shaking, just, but it's everything separated. falling. You that said, happens. I said that's the move, man. That's the move. But it happens. It could happen. You said buildings is coming down. That's possible. It's possible. That shit sound crazy. Fans, windows, glass, that all that coming crazy. down. Yeah. I'd rather deal with tornadoes versus them. At least you get your siren. You know that bitch coming. It's, you sound like right now that shit could rock out. Rock out. Like, oh, no, we gotta get the fuck. <laughs> like a motherfucker. <laughs> just rocking out, nigga. We just run outside. Just run outside. Man. Run outside. Just hope the hope the ground ain't cracking. Oh my god. <laughs> That shit sound crazy. Oh man, but yeah, I'm about that's crazy. I don't know. I never been in a tornado, so I I wouldn't I wouldn't know. I seen the movie Tornado right. back in the day, right? But I've never been in an actual tornado. So, so like even even with them tornadoes, like you could go un literally you can go under a bridge. But say but say you go under a bridge or say your your house can get just yeah, wiped right away just like that. Away. You homeless now? Where are you going? You living? Yeah, you you living underground? You, you better have life insurance. I mean, house insurance. Get your shit rebuilt. And how long? How long that take? They gonna, man, put you in a hotel. You better have some family members. Some. Like there's there's, there's Texas. There's like those type of sta uh, states and cities. Do they have a uh, tornado insurance? I don't know. That's a good question. I'm gonna start a new business. Eh? You need some tornado might, insurance? Might be. <laughs> <laughs> but I, they probably have them real real. They probably have them in Oklahoma more, cause I think the tornadoes hit Oklahoma more than they do in Texas. I think it do, cause Oklahoma they got like they got them valleys out there. I don't think it's that it's it's serious in Texas, but it's not. They don't come through as much, but I think Oklahoma gets them more. Hey, let us know in the comments though, down down below when y'all watch this. Do y'all want to be in a tornado or earthquake? Which that's one? A, that's is? a good question <laughs> for all sites now. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Like a tornado or earthquake or a hurricane or a hur No, I'm good. Yeah, hurricane. No, no, I'm, yeah, I'm ain't no way around that one. I don't need the water and the wind and all yeah, that. Ain't no I'm way good. Around that one. I feel bad for Florida and all them hurts. See, that's probably why I never want to move. To, I'll go visit Florida and I'll go visit here, but I don't think I can move out here with no earthquake and I can't I can move out there with no, no hurricane because that's it. Like, I can't swim already, so I can't do that. And then out here, it's like I can't. I'm fast, but if the ground just cracked, it's over. At least I know in a tornado, I can go outside in the car and, and if I need to, even though they say your windows are breaking all that other shit, but... You go under a br you could drive under a bridge. You can, they got warehouses that's not gonna move. Like it's different nah. shit you can fuck with, bro. Nah, that, it, that's in Mother Nature. You fuck with Mother Nature. Tornadoes lift up, lift up cows. That's but that's outside. Nah. That's just outside sitting there. They could throw they could that tornado could throw the cow through your roof. Yeah, but <laughs> I know you underground and all that. You, you like, could, you could. I know you underground. I know you got a shelter underground. Yeah. You, got a, you got a bunker. Yeah. It's just to the point. Nah, man, I ain't just... gonna touch it. You lit. You good. <laughs> That's the only. I feel like if you have to choose between the three, I think I'll choose a tornado over an earthquake and over a damn hurricane. I'm gonna have to go. I'm, to be honest, I'm gonna have to go and experience the. A tornado and a hurricane. Ooh, it's I, all three scary. I, I, for sure, I've been in the you know the you know the, uh, the earthquakes. I've been in this, I've been rocking. Yeah, you feel know I mean? yeah. me? But I want to go see the earth. I want to be underground and like, oh shit, it's a tornado upstairs. Right. You feel know I me? Mean? I want right. to experience that. Yeah, it's shit crazy. You know, just to see like, oh shit, is it is it, is it ground? Are y'all shaking too? Nah, no, nah. no. Nah, that that's fucked up. Ain't I no thought, shaking. 
You for sure, you for sure gonna hear shit, cause that when that bitch moving, like shit's flying around the motherfucker. You might have a couple windows break. Shit's flying for shit show. That shit's lifting shit up, moving shit around. Shit's fucking shit up. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit come through. It might swipe your whole crib. Everything, everything fucked up. Cause it has happened. People have passed away, but that's people that you know they want to go in their bathtub and think that shit ain't coming. Or it's people that's regularly just like, hey, this shit ain't for real, like. That shit normally ever always happens, so it's not gonna come through this way, but that shit might come through that way. I hear that. The only thing I respect about the tornadoes and hurricanes is y'all have a warning sign. Y'all right. y'all get the horn, you right. Nigga. right. Us out here, nigga, we yeah. might just be talking smoking, oh, nigga. We man. just start shaking out of nowhere, nigga. Just, shit, what the fuck going crazy. on? <laughs> you feel me? That sound crazy. It'd it be like that. It's all good though. It's all good. But let us know in the comments though, would you rather be in a hurricane, a tornado? Or a earthquake. Let yeah. us know. You feel me in the comments. Your boy Bankhead, the name. Strap Trunk Radio. For sure. Who I got next to me? Oh boy, Prince, man. Y'all already know what time it is. I'm making all the females bounce when she walk. You know what I'm talking about? Bounce when she walk. Yeah. Bounce when she walk. Hey, I appreciate you for pulling up, my man. Man, anytime. I hey, appreciate bro. it. I hope you uh, have safe travels back to the, sure. back to the house. Uh, anything y'all need out here in LA, let us know. You feel me? Us media people, we got you, you feel me? Yeah. Appreciate you once again. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Bank Extra at the Trunk Radio. Oh, boy, Prince in the motherfucking house. Oh, Bounce boy. she walk out right now. Go yes. stream that. Go stream you dig? Hey. Follow me on everything at Oh, boy, Prince. Yeah.